Welcome back, you beautiful hooligans. Time to educate you with some truth. If you take a look back at previous generations, you don't even need to go that far to get to the point where our species starts to look quite different. I mean, take your boomer parents for one. They thought this looked good. Or their parents? So formal, wearing suits everywhere, probably even to their local pool party. Honestly, not a bad shout. So when even a couple generations makes a difference in our appearance, imagine hundreds or even thousands. Because when we start to go back a lot further, humans aren't only looking different because of their hideous style, but because of significant differences in their genes. Scientists estimate that the human species evolved about 100,000 years ago, but that doesn't mean we magically came from monkeys. Instead, we came from a human-like species very different from the monkeys you see today. We are Homo sapiens, but before that, there was a species called Homo erectus. These guys were around for about a million years before slowly evolving into the humans we are today. They had longer legs, shorter arms, and smaller brains. Evidence shows that they cared for the weak and elderly, so they did have empathy. They used basic tools and made fires, so they did have signs of intelligence, greater than any non-human species we see today. Before Homo erectus, there was Homo habilis, who evolved around 2.4 million years ago. Their brains were a lot smaller, about the size of your modern-day influencer, but they still showed signs of making more primitive tools, and are the oldest species found to have done that. Around 7 million years ago, the last common ancestor between humans and chimps existed. We don't know much about this species, but it probably looks something close to your mother. So all this gives us an idea as to how long evolution in our species really takes. The changes are slow, but they're substantial. We went from using stone tools a million years ago to shooting Teslas into the sky today. Our features are so different from these ancient ancestors, yet so similar. So why don't we try to take what we know about our evolution so far and predict what our evolution will be? Of course, nobody can predict the future, but that doesn't stop us from trying. Certainly doesn't stop me from predicting the next 15 NBA wins for my parlay. But despite my suboptimal win record, my bets are still probably more accurate than any specific conclusions anybody will make about how a human will look like in a million years. So with that disclaimer out, let's go predict how humans will look like in a million years. Future humans will most likely be taller. In a primitive sense, tall people are more likely to win fights and intimidate predators, and as mentioned in my previous video, are more likely to survive wars. This is why humans have been steadily getting taller over time, because taller people survive more to pass on their tall genes. This also seems to be a selected trait in the modern age as well, seeing as though you shore kings are struggling out there. So based on the trends of the past couple million years and how sexual selection works today, it's very likely that future humans will be significantly taller than us. People will also look younger. Right now, the trend is that people in developing countries are having kids at a later age. As many professions and higher education takes a lot of time away from people, they're more incentivized to have kids at a later age. Plus, the cultural pressures to have kids young are fading away. So as the generations continue to go on, people who are more fertile at older ages will have a selective advantage. There's also always been selection for healthy individuals, so people who are old but disease-free will be more likely to have kids. Therefore, people will be younger for longer and live longer. We may also evolve to be a happier species. Depression and similar mental illnesses are not just side effects of having evolved larger brains. They have directly evolved to aid in our survival. But long story short, people who are depressed are less likely to put themselves in dangerous situations, such as hunting scary animals or socializing with potentially dangerous outsiders. However, in the modern age, depression has little use in making our lives better. So this could be a trait that evolves away. People will look less diverse across our species. Throughout the history of humanity, populations of different regions tended to stay in those regions. So families in China would have lived there for thousands of years without really moving. And because of this, different traits began to evolve in certain regions. And this is why people look so different across the world. But now that the world is more open and people are moving all over the place, the gene pool will begin to converge as people from completely different parts of the world begin to have kids with each other. The average person will look like a combination of all the races today. Sounds like they'd be really beautiful. Of course, this would change once interplanetary travel begins. Then populations between planets probably wouldn't interbreed that often, so traits would begin to diverge again. As humans begin to colonize Mars, they'll begin to adapt to Mars's conditions. Because of its lower gravity, people would probably become taller. They might also develop features to help with its cold environment, such as more hair or capabilities to regulate body heat. Humans may even go further than Mars, potentially to other solar systems. Once this occurs, the contact between interplanetary humans would be far and few between, to the point where in a million years, entirely new human species could emerge. Now all this would occur through natural selection, the slow process of mutations changing genes and those genes being introduced into the species if they're beneficial. But humanity's already on the course of mastering artificial selection. We've changed the genes of animals and plants to do what we like. One day in the not so distant future, we'll be doing the same to ourselves. 
So if people could change their genes, this would exponentially change the rate of our evolution. Suddenly, you could have people with wings or gills, you could make an army of super soldiers or a team full of LeBrons. You could add 8 inches to your height or make yourself super strong. You could choose your skin color, make yourself immune to all diseases, change your metabolism so that eating pizza builds muscle. The possibilities are limitless. There are so many directions our future species could go in, but as long as we continue to value education and helping others, it's almost guaranteed that our descendants would be like gods compared to who we are today. Thank you guys for watching. If you liked the video, please like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace!